Now we'll be moving to the question and answer session. But we will give preference to the non Muslims to ask to please. Sister, do you believe that there is one God? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. <laughs> Sister, do you believe that Jesus is God or Jesus is the messenger of God? It's a messenger. MashaAllah. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger? Yes. yes. I believe. Sister, to accept Islam, there are basically two criteria. Number one is to believe that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. And the second criteria is to believe in me, inshallah. The happiness that you have caused to the people here and all those who are watching, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He grant you turn different those. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, chapter number 20, verse number 1, wine is a mocker. So according to the Bible, in two places it says, wine is prohibited. Yet, the Christian drink wine. Oak is prohibited in several places in the Bible. If you read, if you hear my talk, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8, as well as book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse number 4. Oak is prohibited. Though it is prohibited, majority of the Muslim, majority of the Christians have oak. But we Muslims don't have. Therefore, I say we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. If Christian means following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Christian, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. So when Isa alayhi salam will come in the second coming, the Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse 116, on that day he will say, he will ask Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala, I never told them to worship me. But he said, Oh Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, my Lord and your Lord. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never told them to worship. And the Quran says, in Surah Nisa, chapter number, uh, uh, Quran says Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72, Lakat kafr lazina kalu. They are in kufr. Those who say, Isa alayhi salam is God. Waqal al Masih, but some Jesus can't be upon him. Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, my Lord and your Lord. In no man should be Allah. Anyone who associates partner with Allah, Fakat haram Allah wa lil jannah. Allah will make jannah haram for him. And fire shall be dwelling place, and he shall have no help of the God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, In no man should be Allah. Anyone who associates partner with Allah, Fakat haram Allah wa lil jannah. Allah will make Jannah haram for him. Wama wahun nar, wama lil zalim mansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no help of the year. This anywhere in the Bible, not a single um, unambiguous statement anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ peace be upon himself says that I am God, or why says worship me? If any Christian can show me any such words. Any unequivocal statement, any unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible, I, Dr. Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity. Pray. I'm putting, I'm putting my head on the guillotine. I'm not speaking on the behalf of the other Muslim brothers. They may not be a student of comparative religion. So the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised up Isa alayhi salam 
Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 157 وَمَا قَتَلُهُ وَمَا صَنَبُهُ They killed them, don't leave them, they crucified them. It was only made to appear so. إِلَّا تِبَا سَنْ And anyone who differ are full of conjecture. For they killed them not. Verse number Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 150 it says And Allah raised him up alive. Why did Allah raise him up alive? Because he was the only messenger amongst all the messengers whose followers mistook that he claimed divinity. All the other messengers, before they died, their followers agreed that he was a messenger of God. He was the only messenger whose followers as a whole thought he was God, claimed divinity. So Allah raised him up alive. In his second coming, he will come to clarify the Christians he never claimed divinity. And to prove that, he will break the cross and kill the pig. He will break the cross and kill the pig. That means he wasn't crucified. Why do you think the cross is a symbol? And you asked, what was the reason God created the pig? Another question. So that Jesus Christ could kill him. See, Allah has a purpose for everything. It is not, it is prohibited for us to have Khamsi, the folk. But that doesn't mean that everything has a purpose. You know, normally when you go to villages, they don't have modern toilets like the one we have. When you go to villages, when you go to the call of nature, you come back, the pig goes and kills everything. It is the best scavenger that God has created. Scavenger. It has its purpose. Allah knew that the Christian believed the pig. Allah knew Jesus Christ would come, inshallah, and kill the pig. As a sign to show that he never claimed divinity. As a sign to show that what you are doing is wrong. Coming to your second question. How will you know that Islam is a little of truth? Sister, you could see now, the sisters, they were filled with joy. People, sisters were crying. This is coming from God Almighty. The main thing is, sister, that there are various reasons how a person can get convinced. Some are convinced with reason, some with logic, some hear the Adhan, they like it, some hear the Quran. There are hundreds of different reasons. But the most common reason, as you rightly said, is Tawheed. Like you rightly said, who is the one to protect? Allah. Allah is the one to protect. You know, people didn't want me to come to Oman. You may have heard that. There were news media in India that Dr. Rakim may come to a man, he will be arrested. <laughs> it is Allah to protect. It helped. Maybe the audience is bigger. People are watching on the channel. We weren't going to show live on the channel. Now we are showing live on the Peace TV so that people know I'm giving a talk here. And we do our homework. We saw the background. Oman is a very good country, very peaceful country. They don't have fights with anyone. They have their own rules. Alhamdulillah. Allah says, trust in God and tie We tie a camel, we trust in God. And I'm very happy to come in here. And I saw the love. I'd come two years, I've, I'd come twice before. But this time, what I saw was something different, mashallah. The people, the love, the kindness. And this is the beauty of Islam. You know, people try and take advantage because of differences. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 103, What a simu bi hamdi lai Hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. We Muslims, we are united because of the Quran. And because of the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa We don't fight over small differences. So, the reason most reason that people accept Islam because Allah is the one to protect. He is the one who is Hafiz. And the maximum reason that people understand is because of Tawheed. And because of Tawheed you find the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you read the Quran and you understand it in different ways, it can inspire intellectual, it can inspire a person who is good with literature, it can inspire a person who is normal. That's the beauty of the Quran. Each verse can be understood in various different ways, each one inspiring a person. 
So Alhamdulillah, and there are, and in my talk, the first talk I gave, that you attend not, that Quran, the Quran is a global necessity. And I told them, it gives a challenge. You want to prove the Quran wrong, you can prove it. And people tell that they could not do it. So Quran is the only book on the face of the earth, the only religious scripture which is in Christian purity, and it shows you how to prove itself wrong. People can't do it. So when you read the Quran, you understand there is no other religion that is truth except Islam. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 19, in Nadina in the law is Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 85, if anyone desires any other religion except Islam, it will never be accepted of him and he will be able to do so. Hope that answers the question. Thank you.